Heyo everybody, Haku here with my live reaction for Chapter 2 of Burn the Witch, the new uh, four-part miniseries manga, kind of just promotional to hype up the anime, uh, Burn the Witch from Tite Kubo, uh, the mangaka who did Bleach, of course, in the past. So, before I start reading, let's talk about the, uh, just really quick as an intro, let's talk about the first chapter a little bit. When compared to, like, Bleach or anything, I didn't think it was that great. I thought it was just uh, alright, but I'm not going to really judge it very harshly because it is just a four-part miniseries, so I kind of feel like there's not so much that Tite Kubo and his team can really do with that. Um, it's only four parts, so you can't really take your time and slowly build up characters or anything like that, um, or slowly build up the story, and I really do feel like these four parts of the manga are promotional to get people hyped up for the anime where we're gonna see the full story uh, because I believe the anime's promotional video um, was kinda just stuff from this first chapter mostly um, so it seems like this is going to be what the beginning of the anime is uh, so because of that I don't really um, it's, it's sorta weird having Tite Kubo start off a manga but then not doing a full serialization of the manga but rather having um, rather having it carry on as an anime seems really odd uh, but I I will be talking about the anime when it comes out I'll be watching it so uh, yeah like I said I'm just not gonna judge this too harshly because I really feel like it is just a promotional thing it's only four parts there's not too much that can be done with it uh, but my first impressions I just I didn't really think it was um, that great now I did like it I thought it was really fun I laughed a ton reading it mostly at the silly names <laughs> Kubo losing his naming privileges after this one uh, but also before we read, uh, before I even click on the chapter, I wanted to say I've noticed a new manga that just got posted on uh, Shueisha's Manga Plus. Uh, Phantom Seer looks cool, and there are just other manga that I always see when I go to read Hero Academia or One Piece every week for the channel that I'm like, they look really cool. So there's like Chainsaw Man I always think looks really cool, Jujutsu Kaisen just from the like thumbnail always looks cool. Um, Magu-chan, God of Destruction, depending on what it's about, could be really cool. I always hear a ton of stuff about Spy X Family. So there's just a lot of really cool stuff that I don't know if I should be reading or if any of you would be interested in it. So, um, if there are any of these manga that come out on Manga Plus Weekly that you would want me to do read-throughs for, or live reactions to, or that you just suggest I read on my own time, even if I don't make videos on them, if you have any suggestions for me, uh, let me know. But either way, we've got uh, Burn the Witch clicking on Chapter 2 here. And hopefully I clicked on the English version first. Let me double check. Yep. Okay. So we have Burn the Witch, we have a color um, frontispiece here, number two, Gilly Suit. They're as nice as pie. And I do, I really like, I think my favorite character was, um, was it Ninny from the first one? I thought she was really funny and entertaining, actually. So I would be really down to see more of her as a main character. Alright. Okay. Macy Balger, um... Abruptly, abruptly excited, Cecil die. Abruptly exited, Cecil die. Ex yeah, it's exited, not excited. Exited Cecil die twice last week. Okay, so Cecil die is like a place or something. Then it sounds like a person's name though, and we still have no news of her opening up to interviews and other queries. And we have a uh, little character box: Macy Bulger ex Cecil die twice. Okay, so she exited Cecil Die Twice. They should have put quotations around that or something. Cecil Die Twice is an organization or something then. A member departing such a popular group without some... Okay, it's probably an idol group because we heard about like idol stuff going on with Ninny. Alright, a member departing such a popular group without so much as an announcement after seven days is unheard of, isn't it? Maybe she's just trying to get over the shock of being replaced by a CG character. No, no, Tim. Not a CG character. They're called Voomans. <laughs> anyway, this this video surfaced a few days ago, around the same time as Balger's departure. Freaking annoying. 
That's the moment the leader of the group, Ninny, denounces Macy. No, that video leaked before she left. Come on, this is reputable coverage from the Realists website. This is the Realists we're talking about? It's basically gossip. And then the TV gets smashed. Thank you, Ellie. You're angry. Thank you for your fury on my behalf. Also, one thing from the first chapter, it's like, I'm just trying to wrap my head around all of this. Alright, and something ha something hanging from a part of the window is making squeaking noises. Are these all going to be dragons? Alright, alright. Please, line up. Don't worry, or you'll all get some. Wordsworth. And we have one grabbing the newspaper. Did you bring the paper for me? All the way from the mailbox. Thank you. Alright, dragons. Also referred to as light dragons to distinguish them from their dark dragon counterparts. Uh, they vary greatly in form and disposition, and the majority of them serve the residents of Reverse London as natural resources of one sort or another. So they're kind of, <laughs> they're like uh, the dinosaurs from um, the Flintstones. Radio Wave Booster, Chariot, Plant Cultivation, Planty Potty, Clean Water, Butter Case, Mass Transit for the Exclusive Use of Witches and Wizards, Rept Liner. Personal transportation for the exclusive use of witches and wizards. Broom buggy. And we see where's Macy on the uh, newspaper that she's reading. Whoa, Osashi, you're as cute as ever today. You'd get the Nobel Prize in cute ten years running. You were up for the prize before you were even born and got into the QT Hall of Fame. We could build a house off your cuteness alone. I love Osashi and... Um, the guy's relationship. I remember his middle name was Yuane, but I'm not remembering it right now at the moment. Oh, so she, you can't lick my nose and mouth at the same time. Can't breathe. Ah, but you're so cute. Dying. Balgo? Oh, that was his name. Yep, did you call me Noel? Please pick up the phone. And I guess that's closed till you die, probably. Huh? Whoa. Ninny Spangol. But this is Ninny. You really want me to pick up? Please, take a look at the paper. So Ninny must be from the regular London, and they just are people who live in, or maybe are from, reverse London. Which is like, Soul Society, I think? I can't do a magic scan. I can only read articles about front London. Why are you sighing? Okay. Okay, then. So I guess that... I guess that means he can't he can't do a magic scan, so maybe he doesn't have magic, but he can only read articles. I would assume because he's dragon clad he can't go to front London. Oh, why are you sighing? The London press, and then it uh changes to reverse London press. Today's wingbind headliners, Noel Nihashi. Whoa, it's awesome. It's you. What is this? What are wingbind he er, headliners? Niha and we have screaming coming from the phone. Why, why are today's wingbind headliners about you instead of me? I obviously did more than you. That article's supposed to feature the most active wing, wingbind member of the day. Plus, a front-page front headliner only happens a few times a year, if that. And you're the one featured instead of me? Oh, I get it. So that's what this article is. Hold up, that sounds like Balgo. Where are you the one picking up Niha's phone? Uh, what? Uh, just because Niha's in charge of protecting you for the week. Don't assume you've become friends, okay? Oh yeah, they were put in charge of him. You better not let it go to your head. I'm the only one who gets to pick up her phone without asking. For some reason, I'm the target of her anger now. That's why I had you answer for me. Also, no one's allowed to pick up my phone without permission. And we have a noise coming from this uh, wingbind symbol. Nini, Noel, you there? This is the er, this is the chief. Sound only, Billy Banks Jr., Piper's first squad chief. I just wanted to ask you to come in for a slightly pressing work matter. I'd rather not. It's Saturday. You daft or what? I'm taking a shower. Aw, oh, shucks. Apparently, it's five times the pay in points. I guess I've just got to ask somebody else. Alright, now we see number two, Gilly Suit. Nini looks adorable here. I love her design. I like Nihash too. She is like very much a bleach, like, I guess, 
too, because from her name, she's at least half Japanese. It would make sense that she looks like a lot of Bleach characters, but she has a very Orihime mixed with Rukia, mixed with somebody else who I can't quite put my finger on right now, her design. But Ninny's is, like, different by a lot. If anything, the only character he even comes close to reminding me of is Hiyori, but I love her design and character. She's just really entertaining to me. Well, I sure am sorry about this. And of course, this guy looks like a mix between uh, Ganju Shiba, was that his name? And, oh gosh, I don't remember his name. I think it started with a T, but the guy who was once like the Keto Corpse head and he worked under Urahara, I forget his name right now. But he looks like a mix between that guy and uh, Ganju to me. Or I guess he kind of looks too like the um, lieutenant or vice captain, whatever you want to call them, of Squad 7, um, the one under Komomura. Especially since I'm calling you in on a Saturday. Wait a sec, why are you here too? You're not getting five times your normal compensation just for coming into work to meet us, right? Well, how about we get, er, get to introducing you to today's assignment? What was that look on your face just now? Just come out and say it. And that's the thing that most of you probably don't even know, even if you've been watching the channel for a long time. I loved Bleach. Bleach was like my favorite manga. And I read it weekly, but that was before I started doing YouTube, really. So, uh, you never really got to see me talk about Bleach. Except for I think I did a video on the finale. Please, stop, Ninny. Generally, organizations are structured so that superiors break most of the setbacks as well as the benefits. An illegally reared dragon is apparently being kept by someone in the West District of Reverse London. We got a tip, supposedly. That's a huge deal if it's true. Why are they putting Pipers in charge? I mean, our job's to rear and conserve dragons, right? Looks like illegal rearing counts as part of our rearing duties. What? Sounds like a technicality to me. Even if it is, just consider yourself lucky you're profiting off of it. Oops, that was close. Almost forgot to mention. There was an additional order in the request doc. And now we see Balgo and Osushi. Why do we have to bring him with us? Well, we discussed how Balgo's predisposition for drawing out dragons makes him useful for our search. I know that. We just talked about it. Then why are you upset? I'm not upset because I don't get mad. Or because I don't... Er, I'm not upset because I don't get it. I'm mad because I'm unhappy. You'd be mad too if you got stuck with taking care of the er, the class pet frog after drawing the short straw, wouldn't you? I'd still do it anyway, though. That's the kind of upset I am. She's disparaging you. Are you really going to let it slide without getting a word in, Balgo? R right. I feel joy from the delight of knowing my predisposition will serve you, Noel. And I feel a, the warm aura above my arm from that possibility that I'll graze your boob if I shift a little bit. I just feel so blessed. As you're saying that, have you considered that a drop from this height would be fatal? Oh, right. I need to give you some things. Huh? What? What things? Woohoo! Here, these. A piper's mantle, er, a piper's mantle and pipe, since you are working with us. The chief approved these, so it's clear at a glance that you're with us. That's supposed to make him look like one of us. Doesn't that pipe just scream knockoff? You sure look smug. Do you really want to wear that thing? Of course I do. Getting the chance to wear what Noelle does is just like feeling her embrace. It's the best. Your mind is gross. Anyway, the West District starts around here. Feel anything? Like what? <laughs> I really like these three as the main characters, though. You know, like signs of the illegally raised dragon, or whatever? You're spouting nonsense again. All I've got's a predisposition for drawing dragons towards me. I don't have any special abilities that let me communicate with them or anything. Then seriously, why are you even here? Go home. And we have an explosion in the background. An explosion? Isn't that a big deal? Looks like it. It looks like it. You're not heading over there? Not our jurisdiction. Dealing with terrorists is a job for the police. Let's head over. It might be the dragon. That's the spirit. I knew I could count on you, Noel. There'll probably be points involved, even if it's not the dragon. All right. I just need to go with you, right? That's all right. And they go over towards the realists. Maybe the reason she didn't want to go over there is because of all the news and everything. And it's clear that she probably, or well, we even learned at the beginning of the chapter she had some sort of relation with this uh, Macy character. It seems to be the realist's office building. 
That's obvious even from a distance, and that's why I didn't want to come here. The realists is in the tabloid? Whoa! Weren't you in it the other day, Nitty? No way, isn't that Nitty? It is! Nitty! I'm in there about three times a week. Gotta be more specific. I freaking love Balgo's character. His personality. There was, like, a video of you all mad and saying freaking annoying, and they made it seem like you hated Macy, the band member that left, and were peeved at her. Who's that guy? A colleague or something? I can't believe he's with Nenny. Uh, that thing. So, that's the story it morphed into. Looks like no one's inside. It is Saturday. They're less exploitative than Wingbind. Nenny, I, I've got all your albums. Could I get a handshake? Of course. Did you notice anything about the building before or after the explosion? I saw a man going in right before the explosion. You did? Thank you. Oh. And then she sees... I think that's Macy up there. Is something wrong, Ninny? Marshall! And she yells uh, to her dragon broom. Ninny? I'll go after her. Me, me too. It's dangerous, so please blend in with the onlookers. Seriously? And they fly up. And we have an explosion coming out of the building. And then Ninny flies into the hole it left. So my eyes really weren't deceiving me. Why are you here, Nina? I should ask you that. What are you doing in Reverse London? Macy. Okay. This company wrote such a terrible story about how you hated me or something. Well, listen, this is the realist's office in Reverse London. The realist's office in Front London published that story. Do you get it? But if the Reverse building is destroyed, the Front building will be destroyed in the same way. Or so I heard. That's true. This company only publishes stories that give you a bad name, Nina. So I came here to destroy them. I'm used to it, so it's fine. Wait, what did you just say? That explosion just now. Did you cause it? No, it wasn't me. It was this little one. Okay, so she must have been the one who illegally reared the dragon then. I like the design. It's really cool. Macy, hand that thing over to me. A dragon, and it's already grown so big. This little one isn't a thing. This is Ellie. Naturally, you don't know, since you don't live here in Reverse London, but direct contact with a dragon is a felony. Right now, you'll be fine as long as I keep quiet, so hand it over. No, I'm telling you this for your own sake. If they find out, you'll wind up dead. Who was it who taught me? To never believe anyone when they say they're doing something for my sake. That was you, Nina. And Ellie attacks. But it seems like it gets blown back, probably by Niha. Ellie... And it is. You don't seem very happy, though it turned out to be the dragon. I'd be a psycho if I were happy after finding out the culprit somebody I know. Are you Macy Bonjour? You look different from what I imagined. My apologies for not realizing sooner. Uh, who the hell are you? <laughs> and she picks up something to throw. And Nia just dodges. Why are you talking to Nina like your best buddies? I'll kill you. She has feelings for me. She's always like this whenever I'm being friendly with other women. Um, was I being friendly with you? Anyway, we can't deal with her straight on when she's being like this. Huh? I'm going to come at her from the roof, so you stay here and draw her attention. Ninny, wait! We have another huge explosion. Ninny! And then Niha falls onto her uh, dragon. Oops. Blew you out farther than anticipated. You're not dead, are you? And it's a uh, Basby knockoff. I'll need to write up uh Bang Knife, that was his name. I'll need to write up an incident report if you or if you kick the bucket on the job. Your next chapter hits September sixth. Alright. That was fun. I actually like this chapter better than last chapter. I really like Nini's character, and I like that we're getting more into the characters. I felt like I really understood more about Nini and Niha and uh, Balgo. I really like Balgo's personality. Nini I praised a bunch as my favorite. Niha I like too. Because she could have been this cold, emotionless type that we see a lot, but she's kind of a different take on that sort of character archetype, um, where she does have jokes and she is um, a little bit emotive at least. So I do like that. And I feel like we learned a little bit more about the world, but another thing that's still bothering me is like the world is... Where with Bleach, the world was kind of easy to pick up on as we got more and more information revealed. This world's a little bit more difficult. I still don't really f f 
fully understand the whole front and reverse London thing and the exacts of how they work or anything like that. Like if What's-Her-Face didn't live in reverse London, how did she get here? How did she get this dragon? How does all that work out? Maybe it'll be explained, um, but it's just something that I don't yet understand. Um, also, I wanted to mention before I left off, I was talking about the first chapter um, to a friend last week. And one of the things I mentioned was, honestly, something that needs to be done with this series, the heads of these different groups that we saw, or the stronger members of this sort of British soul society, need to be pretty dang strong. Uh, or else the lore gets wonky if they're not pretty strong, because then it just makes Aizen look like an idiot for, like, not just like, immigrating to where there's a weaker soul society than the Japanese soul society. Um, so, uh, these guys have to be pretty strong, logically. It's also interesting that these witches and wizards exist just in the same world as the Shinigami and all that. So, I'd love to see more about how all that works together, um, since this is sort of a shared universe thing from what I understand. Um, I'm pretty sure that was mentioned in the, uh, what was it, in the one shot that came out like 2018. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited for this. I really wish we were getting a full serialization so we could have a slow build, hundreds of chapters and all that, and depending on how successful it gets, we might eventually get something like that. Um, but it will be interesting to see where the anime takes the story, um, and how it's going to be as like an anime-only thing after these four chapters. Uh, so yeah. I'm excited to read the rest of it. I liked this chapter a lot more than the first one. Not Again, not that I disliked the first one, I just thought it was pretty average. Uh, but I liked this one a lot more. I still have some things that I think are a little bit confusing for me, but it'll be cool to see where the story goes from here. And as far as characters go, love it. As far as the artwork and the designs go, I was a massive, massive fan of uh, Tite Kubo's designs and artwork from Bleach. Um, so, again, that's something that carries over here that I'm still a massive fan of. Uh, so yeah, that is it. Going to end this video here. Like if you did like the video, comment down there. Tell me what you thought of this chapter, or my thoughts on it, my reaction, um, what you thought about it, anything like that. Uh, also, like I said at the beginning of the video, any suggestions you might have, uh, since this is only going to be lasting for two more weeks. Um, also... Uh, subscribe if you want, follow on Twitter if you want, if you want a link to our Discord server, it's free and open for anyone, all you gotta do is ask and I can give you a link. And um, if you would like to help support the channel on Patreon, it is patreon.com slash of the tubes, uh, or link will be in the description, and it really does help to keep uh, the channel going and videos coming to support there. Uh, but even if you don't, just thank you so much for watching and being a part of this community. Uh, so yeah, thank you again, and I'll see you all next time.